Seven years ago, there were a group of Arab students who collected all the data given in the Holy Quran dealing with embryology. And they followed the guidance which was given in the Holy Quran in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 43, and Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 59, that if you are in doubt, ask the person who knows. And they presented all the data which they acquired from the Holy Quran to Professor Dr. Keith Moore, who happens to be the chairman of the Department of Anatomy in the University of Toronto in Canada. Professor Dr. Keith Moore, he did the translation of all the verses that were presented to him dealing with embryology. And he said that majority of the information given in the Holy Quran is matching perfectly with the latest discoveries in the field of embryology. But he said that there are a few verses of the Holy Quran which I cannot say that they are correct. Neither can I say that they are wrong because I myself do not know about it. Embryology has not commented on those facts which are mentioned in the Holy Quran. And two of these verses were the first two verses to be revealed of the Holy Quran. That is from Surah Alaq, Surah Ikra, chapter 96, verse number 1 and 2, which says, Ikra bismi rabbikal lazi khalaq, khalaqal insana min alaq. Read, recite, or proclaim in the name of thy Lord who created who created the human being from something which clings, a leech-like substance. Professor Keith Moore said that I do not know whether the embryo in the initial stages looked like a leech or not. So he went in his laboratory and under a very powerful microscope, he analyzed the early shape of the embryo and compared it with a photograph of a leech. And he was astonished at the striking resemblance. And when he was asked about 80 questions regarding embryology mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith, he said that if these questions were asked to me 30 years ago, I would not be able to answer 50%. Because embryology is a new branch of medicine which has developed recently in the past 30 years. And the information mentioned in the Holy Quran has been verified recently in the past 30 years. And whatever information he got, the additional information from the Quran and the Hadith, he incorporated in the third edition of his book, The Developing Human, for which he got an award for the best medical book written in that year by a single author. Later on, that book was translated into various languages of the world. And even today, it's the best textbook to be referred for the MBBS students, those who do medicine. If you want to score marks, you refer to the book, Developing Human, by Professor Keith Moore. And Professor Keith Moore said that I have no objection in accepting that the Holy Quran is a divine revelation, and I have no objection in accepting that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.